I have seven peptide serums that I am loving. These have really outperformed a lot of these serums that I used to use in the past. Also, these honestly work to soften fine lines, to firm the skin, but they also can help to build new collagen. So if you're someone that can't use tretinoin, retinol, vitamin C, then peptides really are the next best ingredient to incorporate for signs of aging. And if you're consistent with peptides, you will see results. You just have to find the right product for you. Now, I have tested a lot of peptide serums in the past, and these are the best seven. So I have some newbies that I'm gonna be sharing today, and I am blown away with how well they perform. The formulation is truly on point, but then of course I have some holy grails that you have heard me talk about before. Now, if you're into peptide creams, a few weeks ago I did share my favorites. So I will leave that video below for you as well as up here. And just so you know, you can use these peptide serums with those peptide creams as well if you really wanted to. And peptides are incorporated in my skincare routine every single day. So I like to pair them up with tretinoin. I like to pair them up with peptides with retinol and when I do that I really do see the biggest difference. So let's get right into today's video and everything that I'm talking about will be linked below for you for your reference. The first peptide serum that I can't wait to talk about is by Paula's Choice. This is their new Pro Collagen Multi Peptide Booster. So this is one of their newest launches and I've been putting this to the test for several weeks. And this is what I do when I test new skincare. I do like to use it for a good length of time before I share my thoughts, before I share a review, but also this gives me enough time to figure out, is it going to be good for me or not? Does it work? Did I react to it? How does it perform with other skincare products? And so on. I have to admit, this is truly one of the best peptide serums I have ever used. And I am very picky when it comes to serums because I don't always like that sticky tacky feel, but then I also don't like when serums pill. And I just have this, it's like when I first try something, I usually know if I'm gonna like it or not based on the texture. This has the most wonderful texture. So it does have this nice milkiness to it, but you really don't need a lot of it. I would say two to three drops would be enough to cover your entire face, and then maybe an extra drop or two for your neck. But this is super hydrating, it's plumping, this gives your skin that beautiful glow, and this also helps with Fine lines. This really has helped to soften, to tighten. It's just amazing. Now also, this is a product that I have noticed where it has firmed my skin. So when I was using this, I stopped all of my other peptide serums. So I don't use a lot of things when I'm testing a product because I want to give that product the star of the show. I want to see how it's going to perform. And this really is impressive. So this contains six pro collagen peptides. It also contains amino acids, which helps to strengthen the skin barrier. And there's hyaluronic acid in here to plump and hydrate the skin. And like I said, this is amazing. So I was using this more so in my morning routine, but I was using this at nighttime as well, paired up with tretinoin, just to see how the pairing reacts together. Is there pilling? How did it go? and everything worked out so nicely. It works nicely underneath your sunscreen and your makeup. Again, you get this beautiful glow to your skin and it's wonderful. So the only thing I will say is that it's 20 mils and I feel like a lot of their serums are 20 mils, especially the C15 Super Booster, the Niacinamide. I wish this was a 30 because I, have gone through this pretty quickly. So that is the only downfall, but I guess it's also a good thing because, you know, if you're someone that isn't going to use this as often, at least you have a 20 mil here where it's not too wasteful, but I cannot wait to purchase another one because this really is one of my favorites. And if you love Paula's Choice and you wanna try something new, something that really is hydrating and plumping, pick up this. Please let me know how you like it because I'm telling you, this is truly one of the best. The next peptide serum is by Dermatology, and this is the Needless Serum, which I have talked a lot about here on my channel. Now, this one has copper peptides, but it also has additional 
peptides as well. It contains ceramides, niacinamide, and the list goes on. So it really has a great ingredient list here for signs of aging, but also if you need to repair and strengthen that skin barrier, of course the ceramides are gonna do that. Niacinamide is great if you're acne prone, great if you have a lot of oil, but also this can help with dark spots, post acne marks. So I feel like this serum truly does it all, but this really is great for prevention for signs of aging and I've been using this for quite a while now and it really is one of my favorites and I do like to use this one in my morning routine so this one has more of that watery texture so I do feel like this one absorbs into the skin so nicely there is absolutely no sticky tacky feel it is quite hydrating but I will say the Paula's Choice one is even more hydrating so if you have dry skin you have that tightness to your skin as well, you will love the Paula's Choice one. This one is great for all skin types, but it's just not as hydrating as the Paula's Choice. But the great thing with this is that it comes in two sizes. So you can purchase a 30 mil or a 60 mil, which is this one here. So if you're someone that knows you're going to be really consistent with this, you're going to be using it every day, possibly twice a day, then you might as well go with the 60 mil size because it just makes sense. And I do like to be quite generous with this. So I would say, say I would do a syringe full like that and I put that all into the palm of my hand and I put that all over my face and my neck and whatever's left on my hands I do bring it down to my chest I bring a lot of my skincare products down to the chest area as well I have a discount code for you guys if you'd like to purchase this or anything from dermatology and you can use my code sincerely miss ash for 20% off Next up is the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Plus Hyaluronic Acid. So this was once called the Buffet Serum, and the formula is the exact same. They just changed the name so that this can be included with the Multi-Peptide family. So if you're familiar with the Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum, the Multi-Peptide Hair Density Serum, they wanted this to be included because this one also contains multiple different types of peptides. Now, I've been using this one the longest. Out of everything that I'm sharing today, and I've been using this since I started using the Ordinary brand, which was many moons ago. So I can confirm that this really is effective. It does help to firm the skin and also help with signs of aging. Now, this has our Geraline Matrixyl 3000, Matrixyl Sin 6, there's hyaluronic acid in here. So it's a very hydrating, plumping product as well. And the texture is like true hyaluronic acid. You know that watery jelly type of serum? That's what this is. So it spreads nicely. It does get absorbed nicely into the skin. There might be a little bit of a tacky stickiness to it, but nothing crazy. I've never had an issue with pilling, but this really is wonderful. And I do like to use this with tretinoin, retinol, and other types of ingredients. Now, if I'm not using this one, then I am using the Ordinary Buffet plus copper peptides 1%. So this serum is the exact same as this, but this one has that additional copper peptide ingredient. So as soon as I went to this and I was the most consistent with it, I noticed the biggest difference with my skin, which is why I'm telling you that copper peptides really takes your skincare to the next level. So my skin became more firm, my tone looked improved, everything just looked more improved with the copper ingredients. So I'm telling you, if you've been using a regular peptide serum and let's say you're just not really seeing the results like you want, try using a copper peptide and see how it goes. Because for me, it was game changing. Now, I don't wanna open this up because I actually haven't opened it up yet. And once you open up a serum, the air starts to get at it. So I don't wanna open it up yet. But this one has the same texture as this, but this is blue in color, very hydrating, very plumping, no different than this, but it's fabulous. So depending on what you're looking for, we have some options here. This one just comes in a 30 mil size, whereas this one has the 30 and the 60 mil size. The next one is Copper Amino White Plate Serum, and this one is very similar to the Ordinary Buffet Plus Copper, but they are slightly different. The ingredient list is different. This ingredient deck is more advanced, which is why this one is more expensive, but also the texture of this 
is watery. It's very thin. It gets quickly absorbed into your skin. The texture is very similar to Dermatology, very watery. I also don't want to open up this because I don't want the air to get at it, but it is very similar to the Dermatology texture. It's blue in color and it's wonderful. So this one has multiple peptides with that additional copper peptide ingredient. And if you have dry skin, you will be great with this. This is hydrating, but I will say the Ordinary One is definitely more hydrating. It's more satisfying to use if your skin is tight and it's on that drier side. This one is a little bit more plumping as well, but this one really is great for softening fine lines. And I do feel like this one is a little bit more effective than this one, but honestly, you can't go wrong with either one. They are both great. It just depends on what you're looking for, what brand you like better, what are you willing to spend? We have options here. So love these, also love the multi-peptide plus hyaluronic acid. The next one is a newbie, and this is a brand new product from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Derm Infusions Fill and Repair Serum. Now, when this first launched, I had a look at that ingredient list, and I was immediately impressed based on all of the wonderful ingredients that are in here. And I knew that I was going to love this, and I really do. Anytime I try something from this brand, I'm always impressed. I feel like his formulations are truly on point, and they do work. So this formulation contains four types of peptides, four weights of hyaluronic acids, there's niacinamide, there's ceramides, there's glycolic and mandelic acid, there's green tea, there's kakadu plum extract, there's shea butter. I'm trying to think of everything that is in here. Honestly, there are so many wonderful things. And this is the one serum where I've noticed a big difference in terms of one weeks of use. My skin is super soft. It's baby soft. I had a little bit of texture on my chin when I first started using this and within a few days that was wiped out and I was using this every day twice a day. So I took a break from tretinoin. I wanted to see how this would work on its own both morning and evening and this was really really impressive. So this really is a product that does it all and it's wonderful and I'm telling you right now if you're looking for something to help with texture and tone, try this. This really is great. This one has a thicker texture to it, so I will show you what it looks like. So if you have dry skin, you're going to love it, but this really is great for all skin types. I have combination skin, and I don't feel like this is heavy or greasy at all. So that's what it looks like. So you can see that it's more of that lotion type of serum and it spreads really nice. So I put about three pumps of this and that will cover my entire face and my neck. This does have a little bit of a floral scent to it. It's very mild, but there is something there. So I wanna make sure that I mention that in case you're sensitive to fragrance. And the last peptide serum is by Timeless and this is the Matrixyl Sin 6. This is a very basic, let's get to the point type of formula, but it's also really effective. So this has a short ingredient list. And if you're someone that likes that and that's what you're looking for, you're going to love this. So we have the matrixyl, we have aloe, glycerin, and hyaluronic acid. So it's a very gentle, hydrating, plumping formula that really does help to firm the skin, but also it really helps to soften those fine lines as well. And I've been using this on and off for a little while now, and this truly is one of my favorites. I do like to use this with tretinoin, with retinol, and I also like to pair this up with my favorite peptide creams also. So if you love Timeless, I think you're going to love this one as well. And I do have a discount code for you where you can get 20% off by using my code Sincerely Miss Ash. So highly recommend. I love all of these peptide serums. You truly can't go wrong with any one of them. It just depends on what you're looking for, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. And most importantly, I hope I introduced you to a new product today. Of course, everything is going to be linked below for you for your reference. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I would also love to know what your favorite peptide serums are as well. And don't forget to check out my favorite peptide creams, which of course I will leave below for you also. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys.